turning to a former top congressional investigator of financial crimes who says tax evasion could seriously cripple the already struggling economy. Jack Blum appears in We're Not Broke, a documentary that has premiered here at the Sundance Film Festival in Utah. The film examines widespread corporate tax evasion in the U.S. and the increasing role of offshore tax havens. Jack Blum is a lawyer and chair of Tax Justice Network USA. There's a mythology here that somehow this system of subsidizing companies uh, by giving them either zero or near zero tax rates through these various loopholes is going to create jobs is so much nonsense. And uh, there's now an effort underway, and it's almost comical, to repatriate funds that the companies moved offshore through transfer pricing and other, other techniques. And they want to repatriate it at a 5% tax rate, arguing that that is going to create jobs. Well, we did it before. And in fact, the companies that repatriated funds laid off thousands and thousands of people. Bain Capital is a firm that specializes in taking over other companies and supposedly putting them on track to success and then selling the companies off. But this industry is built on tax dodges of various kinds. So typically the money that's used is borrowed money and the, borrow, the borrowings are secured by uh, the company that they're buying. Now, what this does is create tremendous tax deductions for interest payments on the loan. Uh, the fascinating thing is that the partnerships that do this uh, are also offshore partnerships. They're set up in the Cayman Islands, and they're set up there for three different reasons. First, tax. There is no tax in the Cayman Islands, and there's a system of deferral of tax as long as it's kept offshore. Uh, the second reason for being in the Cayman Islands is no disclosure. You can't find out who the other partners are. You can't find out uh, anything about how this partnership is put together. And finally, the third reason is no regulation. So there's no Securities and Exchange Commission filing. There's nothing that uh, will tell us what's really going on in the partnership. And finally, if he is one of the partners who's a manager, he takes his income. This is the income he gets for managing other people's money. And that comes to him in the form of capital gains because he's allowed to have what's called a carried interest. And the carried interest pays a tax rate of 15%. He doesn't even pay Social Security tax. Has he cheated? No. What he's done is take full advantage of a system uh, that has been structured the way it is because of political influence and a tremendous amount of lobbying money on Capitol Hill. Uh, right now, the, the average American is being asked to subsidize the corporations, pay a lot of tax, and not get any government services. Uh, what creates wealth is the commons. Uh, what creates wealth is the infrastructure in America. What creates wealth is our educational system. These corporations that take full advantage of it don't want to help pay for it. What's unbelievable here is that we have a debate going on in the country about firing teachers, firing firemen, firing public officials because we've got to balance the budget. And that debate is being led by Republicans. And these Republicans are saying, uh, got to cut the budget or else we sink. Nobody, and this is both Republicans and Democrats, talk about the missing revenue.